Hi kids, I hope everybody is fine. So this video is for class 10 student. We were doing mensuration from class 10 and we have already solved exercise 17.1 from ML Agarwal based on mensuration, surface area and volume of cylinder. For the previous video, you can see the description box. In this video, we will discuss surface area and volume of a cone. The first of all, we need to understand what is a cone. Look over here. So take a right angle triangle. Take a right angle triangle, okay? Suppose A, B, C. On revolving this right angle triangle about any of its side other than the hypotenuse. You know, you revolve it mm -hmm. along A, B or B, C. Then, the figure which you get is a cone. We will get a cone. Imagine, you take a right angle triangle, revolve it. You know, about one of his side, you know, either the length or either the perpendicular or the base, not the hypotenuse, you get a cone. This is known as the slant height of the slant height of the cone, H E I G H T, presented by L. Of course, BC over here is the radius of the cone, which is R. AB is the height which is known as H, A is the vertex, okay, we will try to calculate the surface area and volume of this cone. First thing which I will take, I will take a hollow cone, you must have seen birthday party caps, that is a hollow cone, we will try to suppose we have a hollow cone like this, we will find the curved surface area of this cone curve surface area, not the area of the base, only the curve surface area, this part, you know, what I will do, I will cut this cap or this hollow cone, the figure which I get, see this is L, this is R, the figure which I get if I cut it, then I get a sector of a circle, isn't it, I have just made one for you, see, See this, this is a cone, yes or no, so what I will do, I will cut it from here and what I get is a sector of a circle, no just look over here, this was my slant height which means this becomes a slant height L and this portion is the circumference of the circular region whose radius I have taken R. So this portion is nothing, the circumference is 2 pi r, which means this is 2 pi r, yes or no. Okay, now we need to find the area of this portion, that is curve surface area, how do you do it? Suppose the sector we cut in 16 pieces or 8 pieces like this, you know, just look over here. Like this, we make several pieces. Okay? Just look carefully. And then we arrange this in this manner. One like this. The other like this. Okay? We arrange those pieces, as many pieces as we get. Like this we arrange. Then if you look carefully, if the number of pieces are more, you know, then what do you get? What do you get? Looks like a rectangle. Looks like a rectangle, okay? And one of the piece, one of the piece you take, you know, just a second. One of the piece you take, you cut it like this, okay? And then these two pieces, place it at the ends. Yeah, like this. Okay. So what you get is a rectangle. And look carefully. This is nothing but L. And this portion plus this portion. Try to understand. This is nothing but 2 pi r, which means this is pi r and this is pi r. Yes or no? Because this curve portion was nothing but 2 pi r. Now if the number of pieces are 
large number of pieces are there, we will get a rectangle, you know. Then the area of this rectangle is length into breadth, pi r into n, and this is the curved surface area of a cone. So the curved surface area of the cone is pi r l, where r is the radius of the circular region of the base. And L is the slant height. Be careful. Slant height I'm talking about. Okay. This. Wait. Yeah. This from here to here. That's my slant height. Okay. If you look carefully, there's a relation. Slant height, height, and radius. They form a right angle triangle, which means L square is equal to H square plus R square. Pythagoras theorem. Isn't it? Pythagoras theorem. So the curved surface area of a cone is pi r l. So the curved surface area is pi r l. Be careful. Now if you take a solid cone, the base is there. Okay. Then what will be total surface area? For a solid cone, the total surface area is the curved surface area plus area of the base which is pi r square. Which means... You take uh, pi r common, L plus r. That's the total surface area. AB is known as the height, is known as the axis of cone also. Remember this. Now comes, this is the curved surface area, this is the total surface area. We are talking about the volume. Now, the volume of cone is one third pi r square h. Now this we have seen somewhere, you know. In the cylinder, the volume of a cylinder is pi r square h. So if you have a cylinder and a cone with the same radius, the base, the radius of the base is same and with the same height then we'll observe that the volume of the cone is one third the volume of a cylinder. Okay, so from there we get volume of a cone is one third pi r square h. One third volume of a cylinder having the same radius and the same height. So that's the volume, that's the CSA, that's the TSA. And this is the relation between slant height, height and the radius. That these formulas we need while doing the sums. Chal. Now we look at the exercise, exercise 17.2 from ML Agarwal. Now look at one part one from exercise 17.2. If the radius, they have told right whether the following statement are true and false, justify you also. Whether the statement is correct or not, we need to justify also. If the radius of a right circular cone is half and its height is doubled, the volume will remain unchanged. That's the statement. Two cases. First case, second case. Suppose in the first case the radius is r and the height is h. So in the second case the radius becomes r by 2 and the height becomes 2h. They are asking whether the volume will remain unchanged or not. Now v1 one third pi r square h yes or no that's the formula v2 one third pi radius square which means r by 2 square into height which is 2h solve it one third pi r square by 4 into 2h to 1 time to 2 times so that's 1 by 6 pi r square h and this is 1 by 3 pi r square h so the volume changes so the statement is false. Okay. This was easy. Number two. A cylinder and a right circular cone are having the same base, radius and same height. The volume of the cylinder is three times the volume of the cone. When I was explaining it, I told you that. No? We know. Suppose the radius is R and the height is H for both the cylinder and the cone. Try to understand. Okay. Then volume of this V1 will be pi R square H 
and this V2 will be one third pi r square h. Divide these two. So V1 by V2 will be pi r square h by one third pi r square h. Pi r square h, pi r square h cancel. Three goes up. So V1 is three times V2. This three will go up, na? Because that's one divided by one by three. So the three goes up. So V1 is three times volume of the cone. That's a correct statement. Okay. Yeah, this is true. Number three. In the right circular cone, the height, radius, and slant height are always the side of a right angle triangle. Yes, because I told you, you take a right angle triangle and you revolve it around about its side, except the hypotenuse. Then what you get is a cone, isn't it? You get a cone like this. Number three. In the right circle of one, height, radius, and slant height are always the side of a right angle triangle. Yes, that's true for the right circular cone. We are talking about a right circular cone when we take a right angle triangle. Okay. Chal, this was pretty easy. Now let us do number two. Let us see number two. Find the curve surface area of a right circular cone whose slant height, which means L, is Ten centimeter, and the base radius is seven centimeter. CSA very easy. CSA is pi R L. Substitute the value twenty two by seven into seven into ten. That's two twenty centimeter square. Done. Pretty easy. Number three. This was based on formula only. Number three. Diameter of the base of the cone. The diameter is. Ten point five centimeter, and the slant height is ten centimeter. Come on, this is very easy. Find the curve surface area, CSA. Again, pi R L, pi is twenty two by seven. R is what? Diameter is this, so the radius will be ten point five by two. Yes or no? So ten point five by two into L. That's ten. Solve it. Two one time two eleven time seven one time. Seven ones are seven point five. Yes or no? So that's eleven into fifteen. That's how much? One sixty five centimeter square. Done. Pretty easy. Just use the formula pi r l. Okay. Number four. I do it over here only. Enough space. Curve surface area of a cone CSA of a cone is given to us as three zero eight centimeter square, and its slant height is given as fourteen centimeter. Find the radius and the total surface area of the cone. Now look over here. CSA is what pi R L. So pi R L is three zero eight. Yes or no? The pi is twenty two by seven r. We don't know. L is fourteen. They have already given. This is three zero eight seven one times seven two times. So r will be what three zero eight by twenty two into two. Solve it. This is one five four eleven two times eleven fourteen times two ones are two sevens are, which means r is seven centimeter. Once you got r as seven. We know what is TSA. TSA of a cone. TSA is pi r l plus r. Just solve it. Twenty two by seven. R is seven. L is fourteen plus seven. Use the value. Seven seven cancels out. So this is twenty two into this is twenty one. Solve it. Centimeter square. Very easy. Yes or no? Chal. We'll do number five now. Now look at number five, five part one. What they have given? Find the volume of a right circular cone with radius six centimeter and height seven centimeter. Very easy. Volume of a right circular cone is one third pi r square h. Just substitute the value. Twenty two by seven. R is what? Six square h is what seven. This this cancels out. Twenty two multiplied by thirty six by three. Yes or no? 
so that's 220 plus 44 that's 264 centimeter cube done very easy yes or no now they have asked now part 2 is same 5 part 2 is exactly the same the radius and the height is given you need to find their volume very easy chalo we look at 6 part 1 this was very easy 6 part 1 same thing they have asked find the capacity in liters so they have asked volume in liters given that the radius is 7 cm and the slant height L is 25 cm just draw the diagram look over here this is your slant height this is the radius this is your height h so by Pythagoras theorem we can say that h square plus r square equals to l square this is your r this is your l which means uh, h square plus 7 square equals to 25 square h square plus 49 equals to 625 h square equals to 625 minus 49 576 h is what plus minus root of 576 which is 24 we will take the positive one so this is 24 centimeter now the volume I will find in centimeter cube first volume is one third pi r square h look carefully one third pi is 22 by 7 r is how much 7 square h is how much 24 so that's one third 22 by 7 into 49 into 24 solve it 7 1 times 7 7 times 3 1 time 3 8 times yes or no that's 22 multiplied by 56 solve it so 56 560 plus 560 plus 56 plus 56 22 times this is 1232 1 2 3 2 centimeter cube done they ask in liters how do you change centimeter cube to liters centimeter cube to liters you divide by 1000 you divide by 1000 so that's 1.232 liters done very easy Chal. in this video we'll keep it till here in the next video we'll see the rest of the sum till then take care and be safe if you like the video do subscribe to the channel and share with your friends